how's it going everybody welcome back to transport fever 2 welcome back to salem and welcome back to my little transportation company that's not so little anymore 1.3 billion dollars in 1944 that's not bad that's that's more success than i was expecting this early in the game but i'm not gonna sit and assume that it's gonna last forever because if we go and have a look at things if we look at our balances and all that good stuff i mean admittedly 14.5 million from a passenger train line is not bad but we do still spend a lot of money on some of the other train lines so again we're not going to just sit and assume it's going to last forever although it probably will if i just don't do anything the game will probably be fine and well i would need to replace some vehicles so yeah it's not necessarily going to last forever if i just sit here and assume that it will anyway enough about that I have a few ideas, and I'm not sure which one I want to dive into just yet. I'm thinking I want to connect Salem to Oklahoma City and Montgomery with a passenger train line. I think we could probably expand the one that we have going from Salem to Kansas City, and I think that would be a great idea. Especially since we have this beautiful straight road right here, we could put a train station on this no problem whatsoever, get some buses going around Oklahoma City, and then connect it straight up to maybe this side of Montgomery. We could do a really really good passenger train line right there It'd be very very easy but then i got thinking a little bit about this machines factory miami machines factory 2. i got thinking about how i could maybe use this to make machines for the rest of the region we have a steel mill right here we have some iron right here we have some coal down here so we could absolutely funnel some steel into that steel mill we could also funnel it over this way this would be a little bit closer to some of these guys so that might be the right choice and then we just bring that steel over to the machines factory but we need wood and that's sort of what's going to hold us back a little bit because well we don't have a sawmill anywhere nearby but i went looking a little bit and there's a sawmill here by toledo 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 i think it's toledo there's a sawmill here and there's a forest right here. Now we have to keep in mind every two logs will make one plank. So even if this maxes out, we will only be producing 300, I think up to 400 when this levels up, up to 400 planks per year. So if we can match that in terms of steel, that would be up to 400 machines per year, potentially, assuming this thing levels up in the same way. And 400 machines per year would be pretty decent. Garland wants 34 of them. San Francisco currently wants 180 of them. High Point wants 146 of them. And then Salem wants 89 of them. So long story short, they would get spread pretty thin pretty quickly, although Salem does have some of its own machines production going on here. And I do want to look at improving this. I think we could try and level this thing up a little bit. We do have a ridiculous amount of silver down here. 962 130 steel and the train is right here trains obviously not full it can only carry so much so what i'm thinking we might have to do is look into basically just upgrading this setup here we might want to do two trains we might want to do two separate lines i think at some point we need to expand the track to allow more trains to go back and forth so that we can have more steel going back and forth but i think that's kind of where I want to get started with this uh, this Miami situation up here, I think we should get some machines going and kind of turn this into a machines fulfillment center. That's the idea that I have in my brain. And so I'm going to start tearing out some roads and I want to talk a little bit more about that fulfillment center point because I've been sitting thinking about some other things to do in Transport Fever too. Because if you've been with the channel for a while, you'll probably be aware and you might have thought this as soon as you saw Transport Fever back on the channel. You might be aware that I have a bit of a track record for not really concluding my my Transport Fever series. And it's not out of malice. It's nothing like that. It's just that sometimes the game gets a little not boring, but you kind of get to a point where you're like, hey, I've sort of done everything there is to do. And that usually comes around once you start making a few billion dollars and we're kind of getting there. So I was thinking, you know, how do I how do I keep things interesting? How you know, what else can I do here? to make things exciting and to give myself a little bit of a challenge and the idea of a fulfillment center sort of came into my head i'm also thinking we might want to just do a tunnel through here be a little bit expensive oh wait hold on we've got two 
I didn't realize we had two coal mines here. That's actually kind of huge because we have all of these iron ore mines up here as well. That is actually kind of a big deal. We also have slag production out of this. We have some bricks production down here, so we can do a lot in this area. I'm actually kind of excited about this, but I do think what we're going to want to do is either a tunnel through here or we can go up and over the mountain, but we'll do we'll do the tunnel. It's a little bit easier. Anyway, on the point of this fulfillment center thing, I I want to try creating a space in Transport Fever 2 where we basically have a bunch of uh, truck depots. We have a bunch of train cargo train platforms. We have all of this stuff. Would this be better going this way and I can create a really nice corner there? I think it would be. I want to do something where we have all of this stuff, basically, and we just have it coming into this one location. It comes into the fulfillment center and then it's picked up and it's sent out to this city or that city or that factory or whatever. I want to do. I did similar when I played Factorio a few years ago. You, you create buses in Factorio, not the way you create buses here, but you create uh, what are called sort of buses, big cargo lines, essentially. And what I did in Factorio, instead of sort of heading them off somewhere and saying, okay, that's the end of that bus, I just kept all of my goods with me at all times. And so I just had this huge set of conveyor belts, just was everything I could possibly want on it. So I could just sort of cut into the conveyor belt and take something out and make one thing here and then bring that into the bus. It was really, really satisfying to do. And I kind of like the idea of doing that here. I think it'd be really interesting to try and create a system where we have, I, I don't think I'd do it with raw materials. I don't think I'd do it with coal or with iron or anything like that. But I think we could do it with things like steel. I think we could do it with construction materials. Just start bringing all of those in. Machines as well. Bring all of those into a central location and just see how it goes. We've also just got a bunch of new trucks, which I'm very excited about. But I'll tell you what we're going to do here. We're going to bring a road straight off of this guy because I'm going to have to build another tunnel to get over to this coal mine. And this is almost making me think that it would be better to just sort of funnel some iron over to this because it's a little bit closer. Because this road's otherwise going to get really busy. Is that what I want to do? Do I want to bring some... I, I think that's actually... I think that is probably what we're going to do. So this tunnel is actually probably pointless, which is a little bit unfortunate, but we've built it now. So it's, <laughs> it is what it is. All right. So now we move on to the fun part of adding all of the truck stations. I'm not going to be too concerned about how close they are to everything, but we'll get one there for some of the iron. We'll get one down here for this coal. And I actually want to just swap out this road while we're at it. And while we're doing this, I actually do want to talk a little bit more, just very briefly about this, what I, what I mentioned about the fulfillment center thing. The other thing that excites me about it as an idea is that I could just build a giant airport next to it as well, or a couple of airports and kind of, you know, try and make it look like a just one single large airport. I think that'd be really interesting just to have everything sort of there. We could have tiny little lines moving trucks from one part into an airport or into wherever else. I I love the idea and I think it is something we're probably going to dabble in at some point during this series. I'm not 100% sure when, but I definitely think it's something I want to uh, want to look into and I think we'll probably it might be a next episode thing. It's the thing is it's such a it is a big it's not I don't know if it's a one episode deal, you know? That's that's kind of my worry about it is I don't know if it's like a single episode thing or if that's a that's a real commitment trying to build a, a, a fulfillment center, basically. I'm trying to make Amazon in Transport Fever 2, and I think it'd be really interesting to try. So that's going to be my goal. I think that's kind of my, I'm not going to say long-term goal because I can see myself kind of eyeing up a couple of different ideas throughout this series. And I think that's that's kind of something I'm excited about with this current run is I'm, I'm looking at it less so as how do I make so much money and sort of win? And more so I'm looking at it as a challenge of how can I make all this money and then lose it with a stupid idea? That's that's sort of my <laughs> that's my outlook on this uh, on this series so far. So it's uh, it's not going well, really. If that's my goal to lose money, it's one point almost four, almost one point four billion. Yeah. OK, so we have all of the truck stops in here that we're going to be needing. 
but we don't have a source of wood just yet. And that's where some trains are going to come into play. And this might be a terrible idea. This might be a great idea. I haven't really decided what kind of idea it's going to be, but I basically want to use trains to bring a whole bunch of logs from Portland Forest to Toledo, Toledo Sawmill, and then bring those planks all the way over to Miami. So that's what I'm going to do. That's that's how this is going to work. Now, this might be a silly idea. This might not be a good idea in the slightest, but I'm I'm going to try it because I just I just I just want to. I just really want to give this a shot and see if we can pull it off. So I'm going to build the let's see. I can get away with here for the train station. So we're going to go with uh, we're going to go with right about there. It is 100% going to have to go through a mountain, which is going to be tricky because there's already a, already a tunnel going through that mountain, which isn't good. Uh, I guess it could sort of swing down here and cut through this mountain, which wouldn't be the end of the world, but we'll figure that out. Uh, when it comes to the rest of this, I keep pausing the game out of just a habit. I really need to stop doing that. Uh, I think when it comes to the rest of this, I'm going to bring this back a little bit and just take out this entire stretch of road for a second so that I can hopefully get a better... So the train's going to come down. I kind of need it to go along the back of this thing. So, or it could sort of come down this way. No, it's going to come down and around and like through here. So the station for this thing, I hope this building doesn't, I can't remember if the buildings actually get bigger when they level up. I don't know if that's a thing. And if it is a thing, that's going to make this really kind of tricky. But my thinking is that if I build a road right about here, that should be fine. The entrance to this place is right there and that's okay. But we can do a road right along here, something like that. I can come in here, get myself a cargo station. We'll do the two platforms because I'm probably going to do uh, two sets of tracks in this entire thing. So we'll go for, I want to say here. And then for this one, it's going to be just a very, very simple case of coming in here. We'll upgrade this road. We'll do just a little section of road right here. And that's basically where my track is going to live. So we'll do a terminus station. This is going to be another one of those ones where I'm having the train fill up as much as is possible. So we're going to we're going to hope this works, basically. So we'll go for right here and I need to bring that down. And in here, this is going to come out and sort of around through this valley, maybe around or through that mountain. I don't know which one yet. And then probably through this one as well. So it's it's yeah. It's going to be a pretty long train line, but that's that's totally fine. All right, we have ourselves another huge train line, and we actually have the line this time as well, which is great. It starts in Portland. It goes into to, uh, Toledo. It goes down to Miami. We just need to get a train, which we can do in a second. I have a depot in here as well, but I've just noticed that Vegas happens to need construction materials. That's kind of cool because we're about to be making a bunch of slag that we can turn into construction materials just over here by Miramar, I'm assuming is how you pronounce that. So not only do they need it, Vegas needs it, which is right here. And also Manchester happens to need it too. So we're going to have a pretty good little business going here if all things work out the way I'm hoping that they will. But what I think I want to try and do here is look at where exactly these machines are going to be going. Now, I do want them to go to high points. I absolutely do. I just don't know that I want to use trucks to bring them down to high point. So what I might do is I might actually have sort of a, a concept for my fulfillment center idea in high points. I'm kind of wondering if I can get away with this. And I say that knowing full well that realistically I can. There's not really anything in the game that's going to stop me. But what if we were to say that we wanted to build some kind of cargo terminus station here in in high points what if we built it we could build maybe a little dedicated section of road for this i, I don't know what it's necessarily going to look like it doesn't really matter what it looks like but we're going to try this so if i bring i don't know some kind of road out here let me let me disconnect you so i can get something kind of parallel ish so bring this out bring this guy over and we'll go and I really wish I could snap to angles. It'd be so nice. It'd be such a nice thing to be able to do in this game. But regardless, we can't. Um, we'll do this. We'll, we'll, we'll kind of put some distance between what I'm about to build and the rest of the town just because it is going to be a lot. And we'll have this as a little, little space for it. So now, if I go in here 
and I build myself some kind of cargo terminus station, we'll put it right about, say, there should be fine. Alongside this thing, I want to get a small street and I want to try and get as close to the station as I possibly can. So actually, you know, it'd be a better idea instead of just doing that. We can go in, we can get some cargo buildings and keep the game running while I do this. I need to stop pausing the game and I'm going to use some of the larger side buildings, I think. I think that might be an interesting shout here. So I think, yeah, I think that's that's 100% what we're, we're going to do. We'll use the large main building here. And then we'll do a few of the side buildings. And these guys actually do provide storage, which is fine. But there's there's more reason to me doing this than just the extra storage. So what do we do? One, two, three, four, four of these guys. One, two, three, four, five of these guys. So we'll do one, two, three, four, and five. We'll do another large main building right there. And that's where I'm going to put my road. So we'll do... Maybe an extra large street, just so we have some extra lanes on this thing. And it is going to run the entire way to about, say, there. And so now this side of this station is connected to this road, which is fair enough. And on this road, I want to put a bunch of road depots. Because we're going to try and bring all of our machines down here. Dump them into High Point. We'll have them delivered to High Point, but also to Salem, also to San Francisco, and also to Garland. And that's the route that we're going to do by truck. Again, don't know if it's a great idea. Probably isn't. But I'm just going to try it out because I want to see how it plays out. So what we'll do is go into buildings. We'll get ourselves truck stations. We're going to say two platforms on each of these. And we have, what, four destinations? Salem, High Point, San Francisco, and Garland. So we're going to do four of these guys. Each, uh, each one is going to get its own little truck station. And I could, if I wanted to, I could actually put a connection on the, the top side of these so they go through. It's kind of like a one-way thing. But I'm going to just try this for now as sort of a, a, a concept. This might be a really terrible idea, but I'm going to just, I'm going to just see it out. I'm going to just try it, see what happens, figure it out, see how traffic handles it and, and kind of go from there. So like I said, we'll do four of these guys right about here that looks like pretty good well good enough spacing traffic might be a problem but again we'll figure that out and i guess the next uh next step is going to be getting ourselves a train station up by miami which is going to be across this river which is going to be interesting to say the very least and you know what i think we're going to do i was going to build another station i'm going to try to just use this one so that we don't overdo it over here and we'll see if we can't maybe get ourselves a little something that just shoots off to the side here. It's not going to be super high speed, but that's kind of okay. I want it to go from roughly here to right about there. And that actually works quite nicely. We'll turn off parallel tracks just to bring this guy sort of down and in here, hopefully. So right to about there seems solid. And then in terms of signals... We are going to want anything coming in this way is going to have to hold back a little bit for a second. So we'll say signal there. And I think that's all I'm going to be looking for. This signal here could be moved a little closer to the road just so hopefully the trains aren't blocking each other, which they're likely to do. But we'll figure that out. This one's also going to be blocking things, actually. So we'll move this signal back to about here, which also might block the road, but we'll figure that out. And then everything down here, I think, should be fine to just sort of sort of flow a little bit. So this is going to just shoot straight towards the river. I'm almost wondering if I do want to sort of go down uh, towards the lower part or if I just want to cross over the canyon, which is kind of what I'm thinking I want to do. I'm not going to lie. I think crossing over the canyon would be kind of fun. Go straight for Corpus Christi and then pivot. Maybe use the same tracks even. I don't think we'll do that. But well, actually, the question is, where am I going? I'm going to High Point over there. So I need to probably go... Kind of that direction. Basically, the direction that the track's already facing is where it needs to go. Okay, so I can see where I need to go. We've got some track right here. I'm honestly kind of wondering if I was to just go from here and just go for it, what is the game going to do? What is it going to try and achieve? 89 million. Oh, oh, that's that's what it's going to try and achieve. Um, <laughs> I can make, Look, here's the good news. I can make it look really cool. And it's cheaper. And I, you know, sickeningly, I don't, I don't, I don't completely hate this. I, it, mm, 
I don't. I don't absolutely despise. I feel like I should. I feel like I should. This, uh, hmm. No, there's no way. There's no, <laughs> we're not doing it. As, as cool as it might be to have this giant suspension bridge for all of this, I think it's a bit much. So I'm going to just bring this train sort of down the coast a little bit. And I'm going to try and do a little bit of a lower bridge. And I guess what we're going to try and achieve here is a, a low level bridge that just sort of goes into a tunnel immediately. Where am I going to? Right about here. Is this doable? That is doable. So 9.7 million. What does it do? It is just a really low level bridge. I also can't raise it up, which is slightly disappointing. Uh, interesting. Okay. So that's not quite what I had in mind. This, on the other hand, is exactly what I'm looking for. I know it's ridiculous. I know it's down in a canyon and I know it doesn't line up with either of my train tracks right now, which is a bit of a problem, but it just looks cool. And I think after the amount of tracks I've built today, look, I haven't I haven't set up any of these new lines. I mean, the lines are set up, but none of the vehicles are moving yet. I think this is going to look cool. I do. I, I think I think we deserve a beautiful looking bridge. That's that's what I think we deserve. So that's what we're going to go for here. So we'll get ourselves some tracks. We'll make sure it's a ground level, which it absolutely is. And it just needs to go that way. And then the connection up to this thing, we've got some choices. We could do some stone. We could do this, which honestly, I don't know if I mind that. I'm going to, I'll be honest. I don't completely hate it. There's nothing kind of holding it up here though. So I feel like in a way it should just be dirt. So I think we'll go with the dirt. We'll smooth this out. We'll make it sort of look proper. Obviously, the train slows down a little bit going around there, but honestly, that's that's fine. It's the train has a few places along the way where it slows down, so it's not it's not the end of the world. So that's going to go that way. This now needs to cut across this way somehow, and that's something I'm going to be curious about. Can I I can do dirt there as well, which is great. Do I want it to go straight into a tunnel? I feel like in a way it probably should just go straight into a tunnel. I don't know how it's going to connect to the rest of the track, but Maybe, maybe that's kind of the thing. It just goes straight into a, into a tunnel right there. And we see, we'll figure out how to connect it later. We'll turn off the parallel tracks for a second. And I guess now we'll turn them back on and just see how this is going to work. So I want to come all the way over here, go straight to there. We'll just get it going. It's parallel already. And you know what? I don't mind that. I, I actually don't mind that. Let's just smooth out the terrain segments a little bit. So this actually looks like it's kind of being held up by the terrain, which it should be. We'll do the same thing on this side if I can possibly get away with smoothing out this terrain, which does look a little bit ridiculous, but I'm kind of here for it. So just raise all of this up as best we can. So it looks like we're kind of holding up the bridge, which we are. And I'm kind of here for that. I i am. I'm kind of here for that. I think it looks pretty good. So I guess now the last thing we need to do is set up a train line that goes from here. We're going to want to make sure it's on the correct platform, which I mean, I don't know if it really matters what platform it's on right now. So it's going to go from Miami all the way. The game gets so laggy when you zoom out all the way down to high points. And then we want to go back and make sure we're using the correct platform, which we are not right now. So platform number two, please. And it does sort of head out the way I would want it to, which is great news. And this is going to be TC. And I guess we'll call it. I guess we'll say Miami. I suppose. And we'll say it's going to be machines to high points. And that's that's fair enough. It's going to be another nice pink line right there. And now all we need to do is set up machine deliveries to everywhere else. And then we can start to activate all of this. So whereabouts in high point happens to want machines. It's sort of this corner down here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a uh, an unload spot right here. And I'm going to set up an unload spot right about here. There's a lot of traffic on that road. Good Lord. Uh, I think right about here. So we'll have a couple of them. So the trucks are going to come down. We'll drop off there. They'll go around and back to the little truck depot. And then down in, oh, Everett wants machines as well. I didn't realize that. Down in San Francisco, we have this space one machines. So we'll say, give me a stop. Honestly, we could just do one stop right in the middle. So I think that's what we'll do. We'll have a truck stop maybe, I guess right about here for now is probably fair enough. So we'll do a truck stop there in San Francisco. 
going down to Garland. Where do they want machines? Right in the middle. So we'll go for here and that'll be fine. And I think we'll hold off on Salem just because we probably should. What are you guys? Oh, that's a lot of traffic. That is a lot of traffic trying to get into Salem. Good Lord. We might want to look into that. We, we really might want to look into that. There are a lot of people going back and forth, but it seems that there's just a lot of traffic trying to get back and forth here as well. We'll deal with it later. Let's set up these delivery lines and figure out what I'm going to be doing here. So this guy is going to be going down to here, down to here, and then back. And that's fine. We want it to use both of the platforms and we're going to call it road cargo, road cargo. It's going to be, I guess, high points and it's machines delivery. I don't think high points. What color do we use for high points? I actually have no idea. We've got road passengers in high point, don't we? I think high point loop is a nice light green. So it was. I want to say that one. Oh, that's not the right color at all. Was it? Uh, was it this one? Yeah, that's the right color. So that'll be fine. This guy is going to be loading up on machines right about here. And then we need to do the same thing for both San Francisco and Garland. And now with that done, we can start working backwards a little bit. So we'll come over here and we're just going to start getting ourselves some. Why do I have? Why do I have buses in the Salem Road Depot? Let me sell those. We've also had a few vehicles here and there complaining about their condition. Do we have any new buses yet? We do. We have the twin coat. That looks fantastic. We also did get the Studebaker trucks here as well. And there's a really nice variety of those. They can hold up to 16 on the flat car with side stakes. These guys are 14 max. We're going to have to replace all of them. But I think what I'm going to do just very quickly is sort by name. I want to find my road passenger lines. I want to pin this. And I very quickly want to replace my buses. Although none of them are really making all that much money. Oh, that's why we had vehicles. I never put vehicles in the Salem Loop 2. I... <laughs> okay. That explains a lot, actually. That, that, okay. Well, fair enough. Give me, you know what? Just give me 10 of them. Give me 10 of these guys. Paint them bright red. Put them on road, uh, road passengers, Salem Loop 2. And now we'll go through and we'll start replacing the rest of the, the public transport. And you know what? They look great. I, I love, I love this style of bus. It is so, so good. So now I suppose the last thing to do is going to be to build a road depot up here in Miami and we'll place it right about there. That seems totally fine. And we can start playing around with some of the new vehicles. So we'll have a look at cargo. We are going to be moving coal and iron. And I'm going to say, give me, I don't know how many to start with. Let's do 15. Or maybe 20. Do I want to do 20? The capacity on 20. So 16 would be 320. Yeah, we'll do we'll do 20. That's the, the capacity of all of them. And these guys, do I want to paint them bright pink? I'm going to make them bright pink. That's, that's what I'm going to do. They're going to be bright pink. This is... Oh, I forgot we had so many of these as well. We'll do cold steel one. And that'll be fine. And I now need to go down the line and do that quite a few more times. So we'll get 20 more of them. Get them a nice and nice and bright pink. And that's going to be coal to steel number two. Oh, this might be. I'm going to have to probably sell quite a few of these vehicles now that I think about it. But we're going to we're going to we're going to overspend. Hmm. Not really good business, but we're going to overspend potentially and then deal with it. So we'll do steel right there. That was the iron one. And similar story for this guy. We'll go ahead and buy another 20 and we'll go ahead and put it on the iron to steel number two. So we have some coal production here. We have some coal production hopefully kicking off here at some point. We have iron up here and we will eventually have iron at all of them. It's going to take a while to ramp up because basically this thing is going to need to level up to be able to do what I want to do. So we'll figure that out. Basically, that's that's kind of <laughs> that's kind of how this is going to this is sort of going to work. So we'll get those guys going out. They'll do their thing. We are also going to need to get ourselves a train to get this whole thing going. So let's let's actually manage this line and say that in Portland, you are going to wait. So this is going to be moving logs and planks. Wait for a full load. There's no maximum time in Toledo. 
you are going to be waiting uh let's say up to 10 minutes for now and then in miami you're going to be dropping things off so here you're loading up in logs uh here you are unloading the logs and then loading up on planks and then in miami you are going to be unloading the planks so that should be fine that'll hopefully work the way i i want it to and so we'll go ahead and get ourselves a train down this way now i don't want to go too crazy with the train i don't want to be too ridiculous about it but we'll give this a shot and see what we can do so we have some choices we've definitely we've got the big boy oh it's a great looking train we have these guys as well though it's a diesel train that we've not really played around with too much it's not as powerful as the big boy so i think i'm gonna go with the big boy just because i can now what color can i get this thing in i think it's just that top part that changes so if i was to get rid of you and make it bright pink is it just the top part it is i'm gonna go with the bright pink then and then for cargo we still have these old box cars and flat cars and all that stuff these guys i'm not gonna do i'm not gonna do those in bright pink that's not gonna be a thing we'll just do flat cars in gray i guess and these can move both logs and planks which is great so can i get this up to a capacity of 600 without too much trouble i mean i can get it up to it's gonna be a really long train it's gonna be a really really long train um yeah that's what i'm gonna do it's it's 634 meters long i don't know if it's gonna fit on these uh on these tracks but we're gonna find out so logs to planks to machines away you go i don't know how well that's gonna work but it's oh that's very pink that is that is very very pink but do we have logs production going we absolutely do okay so this thing will hopefully ramp up to 600 at some point. That's that's the goal here, is that this thing ramps up to uh, to 600 at some point. This guy still hasn't been reconnected to anything. Whoops, might have forgotten about that one. Let's just very quickly get myself some uh, get myself a little road back in there. So we'll go something like uh, something like that, and we'll just sort of snake this around a little bit if it's gonna let me do it, which I'm hoping it does. That's not really what I'm looking for. So we'll do this and we'll do this and that'll be fine. And you know what? This one can come down to, well, yeah, that one can come down to here as well. So something a bit like that should be fine. That'll keep us good. This is connected to that thing, which is great. This will be producing and is producing a bunch of logs. This will eventually produce a bunch of planks. That'll all come down to Miami and be turned into machines. And I just kind of need to hope that this works really although in saying that we are going to be aiming to bring in currently 200 coal and 200 iron ore so we can probably turn this down quite a bit if i go and look at this guy so this is currently 800 <laughs> okay all right well that explains a lot um manage vehicles let me just get rid of like 15 of them so we'll start by getting rid <laughs> Hold on a minute. Um, oh, I don't know what I'm doing. Let me, let me, yeah. So I've overspent slightly. Bring that down to 198. So we're going to aim, we're going to aim for 200 on, on both of these guys. So that's going to come down to 198. You, you are going to need to be about 198 as well. So we'll manage the vehicles. We'll go ahead and sell one. And that'll bring us down to 226. We'll sell two more. That's going to hopefully bring us down to about 202, which is perfect. So that's that's good. That gives us a nice even 400 across the two of them. And then for these guys, this one needs to be about 200. It's currently 306. So manage those vehicles. Get rid of, let's say, three of them and see what that does for us. Brings us down to 260. Get rid of, let's say, four of them. And that brings us down to 199. So if I can get a 201 on this other guy, we're going to be pretty solid. So looking at you and managing your 226, that's fine. So get rid of one vehicle. And I would imagine that that's going to be roughly what we're looking for. Oh, no, maybe get rid of two more. And that brings us down to 191. Oh, no, 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 no. Give me one more. That gives me 202. Perfect. One over, but that's fine. That's that's some pretty good numbers across the board. So those are now going to be producing about 200 each, or at least they're shipping 200 each per year, which means we should be maxing out production on this thing. It can produce up to 400. 
shipments of 400 are going to be something. Steal the machines. I have no vehicles on that yet. So let's let's get some. I totally forgot about that. Let's uh, let's come down to I'm down to Miami and we're going to be moving. Can I move machine? I can move machines in one of these guys. So wait, steel. So wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's not what I'm doing at all. Wait, no, I am doing that. So steal the machine. Yes, yeah, the steel needs to come down to the machines. I'm an idiot. So yeah, I am absolutely doing that. So don't pin you, but I do want to pin you. And we need some trucks that can move the steel. So having a look here, it is going to be the side stakes. We'll go ahead and get ourselves five of them to start with. Nice and bright pink. And Miami steel to machines gives me 153. If I manage those, we are going to want that number to be about 200, I think. And that's 214. That should be fine. So now we should be producing about as much iron as we can or steel as we can move, which is great news. Looking towards the train, it is just getting in here, which is completely fine. Bit of a ridiculous looking train, but that's again, completely fine. How much have we got here? 320. Ooh, this isn't producing as much as I'd like, but we'll make it work. Now, here's a great detail about this train. It is just, just under this crossover point. Just under. That wasn't intentional. That's, that's, that is a miracle that that has even happened. That's, that's kind of ridiculous. It's also going to be here for a while, I think, because we kind of need it to fill up before it goes anywhere so that we get the 300 planks going down to, uh, to Miami. But that's okay. If it's not running, it's not costing full price to, well, run, so... I'm not really too worried about it. You know what I'm realizing about this logs to planks to machines line? It's not going to be making enough planks to balance out the amount of steel that we're going to be making. It's also not on the right side of the track, which is a little bit concerning. Not 100% sure how I feel about that. Definitely, definitely going to want to just adjust things ever so slightly. Apparently the train is, in fact, a bit too long, so... Let's very, very quickly have it. It comes in on the right, so it's going to go from this side to about there. We'll build some signals, and we'll make sure auto signaling is off, which it is. Uh, so it comes in on the right. It goes across there. That should be fine. So that should now allow it to cross over. And I think what I'm going to do as just sort of a temporary thing is I'm going to go in here and build some tracks just here. And I want to see if this guy moves over to the other side which it absolutely does. So that'll be all right. It should basically go ahead and drop off all of those logs. What I want to see is how much money it makes for dropping off all of these logs. It's 600 logs. It is 5.2 million. Not bad. Definitely, definitely not bad. It is not. Oh, it is loading up. Wait, wait a minute. That's not, that's not, <laughs> that's not what you're supposed to be doing. You were supposed to be ah, minimum stop time. I'm an idiot. Let's have you be a minimum stop time of uh, five minutes, I guess. And then this guy is producing pretty slowly. I'm almost thinking that the better choice here really would be to just have multiple trains. And I, I think that's probably the way to go with this is, is multiple trains. So I think that's just going to have to be my, my choice, really, is that this guy is going to be tired pretty much immediately i just don't think it works so oh, i don't like you know what actually we'll go in here we have a capacity of 600 what if i just go and i swap out a bunch of these so we have two maybe three trains so 300 there what if i brought my capacity down even further to say 204 and then I don't know if I want three trains though. I mean, 204, maybe three. So 300 might be the way to go. Maybe 250 would be the way to go. I don't know. I don't know what way to go on this actually. We could do four trains of like 150. We could do two trains of, we could do two trains of, of 300. I think I'm going to try the two trains of 300. I think I'm also going to get rid of that locomotive and replace it with this guy because it just seems a little bit more interesting. We'll make it nice bright pink, because of course we will. And it is only mediocre 
actually. So we might want to stick. I guess we could go for this one as well. Do the slightly more, slightly more modern electric train. Very bright pink. Very, very bright pink. That is, um, that is something. We'll modify regardless. That gives us two trains. It is going to give us a rate of still 263, which is interesting. If I put another train on there, it's 394. I'll give that a, we'll give that a, hmm. Give me another one. Give me another one. That'll bring me up to 526. We're going to see how that goes. I'm not 100% sure it's going to go well because of how this is sort of designed to work here. But if this can dump out a whole bunch of logs, that'll be great. If it can't, we're going to need to figure out another little solution here. I don't think the one big train is is going to cut it, though. So the final step in this entire thing was getting another train that is going to be taking machines to high points whenever those happen to get made. Now, I've connected this in such a way that the train is going to be heading straight to the high point. It's going to be coming back here eventually. And I'm kind of hoping that we see some good things happen here. We do. We do admittedly have a train on the way out already, which is great. This is absolutely full of logs. It's got 300 on board. There's 118 waiting back here, which is great news as well. I think what I can also do is once this train gets in, we can go ahead and sort of measure the little crossover points a little bit better. We're also going to have a few of these trains just sort of sitting around for a while whilst we wait for them all to, uh, to fill up. But really, that's not it's not really the end of the world. We've also got 168 planks waiting here to go down to Miami, which is fantastic, too. So we'll see how this all plays out. I'm hoping this starts to figure itself out a little bit. I'm not necessarily going to hold my breath because I don't think it's going to go all that well. But looking at it, this train is about the perfect size. So let's do our little crossover points a little bit further down here. We'll go for right about there. We can go to signals. We can put a signal right about here. And that means that uh, we'll keep this one, I think. But it means this train can sort of continue on a little bit. And that'll be for the best. Now, this guy has popped in, picking up a whole bunch of those planks. Hopefully going to be picking up more. I'm hoping that the uh, the shipment here starts to to do its thing a little bit. Although it looks like we're not picking up anymore, which is a bit of a weird. It's a bit weird. I'm not really sure why it's doing that. Let me have a look at the line. Manage line. Look at uh, Toledo. Load if available. Minimum stop time five. You know what? We'll bring that minimum stop time down to two minutes, I guess. And that'll be fine. I guess that's how we're going to do things. This guy can at least head out with half the train full, which is better than none of the train full. I guess at the very least, we can take a look and see how much money we're going to make for 180 planks coming into Miami. I'm hoping for a decent amount. It's going to be 7.3 million. That's actually pretty solid. And that should mean that we see machines production start to be a thing, right? We should, we should kind of see that start to go somewhere, although we might... Now that I think about it, we might need to get some vehicles moving them around down here. So do I have any vehicles on this line? I do not. Let's start with the high point one. Since demand for machines is 167 in high point, I think that's going to be a good place to start. We'll go in here. We'll get ourselves. Let's see. Machines can move on this guy. Let's go for honestly, we'll go for 10 of them. That'll be roughly 160 on the uh, on the old rate there. And what color did we go for for high point? I think it was like this shade of green. We'll go ahead and put that a road cargo high point machines delivery. And that number needs to come down from 422 to something a fair bit lower. We'll bring that down maybe by by about half. So we'll go for five vehicles right there. That gives us 211. That can come down a little bit further. We'll go and maybe sell two of them. Brings us down to 127. We'll get one more. And that gives us 169, which is roughly where we want it to be. So with that done, we now have an, uh, a final sort of destination for the machines, which means they are getting dumped into the machines to a high point line, which is absolutely fantastic. Production here should now start to increase. We should see the shipment increase as well. Hopefully transport gets somewhere as well. And if this thing levels up, we'll start to see all of the other things level up as well. This guy, for example, if that shipment goes up, we are going to be we're going to be sorted. We're going to be in a very, very good place 
if all of these guys start to uh start to level up same with this guy as well if we can increase this and get it to level two that would be absolutely fantastic it's just uh yeah you got a lot of trains just sitting around doing nothing right now. And you know what? I think while we're here, San Francisco has 198 on the demand for machines. So let's get ourselves a few vehicles for this as well. I'll go ahead and just grab two of these guys. And they are going to go on to... What is the San Francisco uh, color for this whole thing? So San Francisco is that nice light blue. So we'll set them to that color. We'll go down. We'll go to San Francisco machines delivery. We can head back up this way, grab this guy, and we needed it to be, what, about 200? So manage vehicles, duplicate there, brings us to about 50-something, 50 53. Duplicate again should bring us to about 105, and duplicate again should bring us to about 210, 211. That's completely fine. So now we have enough trucks to manage all of the machines for both High Points and San Francisco, we just happen to need the machines for both of the cities. And to be fair, this is a decent little start. 52 machines heading straight out. Not going to complain too much about that. We've got a decent number of planks and steel still in here. So production shipment are actually getting up there, which is great news. I'm just kind of hoping that we can maybe get a few more of the, uh, the planks on the way down here. We have this guy. You don't have that many. You got 72 planks on board. I don't love that. This is sitting on 30 right now. It could also be better. This guy is slowly. Well, actually, this is starting to fill up a bit quicker. This thing is starting to really, really produce a good number of logs. So no complaints there. It's just this guy's a little bit, a little bit slower than I'd like, basically. But I'll tell you what I want to do. I want to get away from all that for a second, because again, as I mentioned earlier, we have a lot of traffic in all these roads, and I think it's about time we do something about it. We also have a lot of people wanting to use the Salem to Kansas City line. So eventually, when we do expand it to Oklahoma and up to Montgomery, that's going to be pretty busy. And actually, speaking of which, we have so much oil right here. We don't have much plastic sitting around, unfortunately. A good number of goods and a good amount of steel, though. So no complaints. Anyway. Oh, hold on a minute. We also have this. We have a whole bunch of tools. In fact, we have too many tools. Let me have a look at you. 185, 205. How does that work? All right. Well, what are you moving? You're moving steel. Can I replace you guys with this? And that brings that number up to 247. Not bad. This is 205. Manage vehicles. Replace with tools. You can move tools. So we'll go ahead and replace you guys. Brings it to 274. So hopefully we see some good things there. But anyway, what I really want to do, what I'm really trying to get to here is the idea that I think it's time we replace these trains. So if we go in and look at this line, we manage these vehicles. We have 10 of them. They're great. We can, you know, move up to 520 people, but the trains are nearly full. So what if we were to replace them, right? What if we were to do some, some pretty substantial changes here? We have some multiple unit trains. This is what we're using at the minute. This is just a locomotive. This is a multi-unit locomotive. It is a uh, diesel engine. It's quite powerful. It's not quite as fancy looking as the Zephyr. Zephyr? Zephyr. It's not as fancy looking, but it's it's a chunky train. And so I think that's what we're going to use. So does it look okay in bright yellow? <laughs> That's the question. Does it look? It looks okay. I'm willing to allow it. And then for the passengers, it's going to be this guy, which doesn't really match if we're completely honest with ourselves. It doesn't really match. And this one's actually, this one can actually go, how, how fast can you go? So what's, what's the speed on this? 117. Oh, we might need to go with this wagon instead, actually, because it's a little bit, oh God, not in that color though. Definitely, definitely, <laughs> definitely not doing that. Can I get it in sort of a, a, a matching color? That's definitely not either. Uh, what about a little bit darker than that? Does that one match? Kind of. I don't think there's any way it's going to match, if I'm completely honest. So maybe... Maybe we change the color of the trains. Maybe we go for like a nice dark red. It's a very saturated red. It doesn't really matter, does it? Go for this one. It's more of a brownish color. It's very close to the original. Go for a nice bright pink. You know what? We'll go for the dark red. We'll go for the dark red. This is a capacity of 19. It's now already over the capacity of the the other trains. This thing's already mediocre, really? That's surprising. I don't I don't want it to be a mediocre train. I kind of need it to be better. 
let me give it a capacity of, I don't know, 152, 171. We could go up to 190 per train if I wanted to. I don't think I want to, though. Go for 133. And for the locomotive, we have this guy. We have this guy. I want something fast, though. That's kind of why I wanted the uh, the multiple unit thing. Because this, this guy can get up to 117. That seems, I mean, it's never going to get there, but it could, it could, right? That's, that's the idea is it could sort of get there. You know what? We'll just go for this. It's an electric locomotive. It is still a higher capacity, almost double what it was before. This is going to give us a capacity of 950 across the entire line. It is $234 million to replace all 10 of the trains. We are going to do it, which is a lot of money, but it gives us this. It is a quieter train, which is great. It does look pretty good, to be fair. And now we can just move more people, which means we should have fewer people just stood around waiting to get anywhere. And that's that's what I'm hoping for. I'm also looking at this line here, the machines to high point line, and I'm realizing there are 161, 162 machines sitting here. This guy can hold up to, what, 120 and has now filled up on them. That's pretty solid. That's actually kind of fantastic news. So that I would imagine is going to be a pretty, pretty good delivery. I almost wonder that if I want to duplicate the number of vehicles in this line, because looking here, we're already at 50 something. So I think we might, I think it might not be a terrible idea to go to manage vehicles and just duplicate this guy. We'll have two of them head out. That'll be a good little machines run down to high point how are you doing in terms of numbers still way more steel than planks but that's kind of to be expected is this thing eh, transport could be better but again once this levels up it'll have the knock-on effect of helping and encouraging everything else to level up so we're kind of just waiting on that happening okay when did high point get a sense of humor it's just built a machines factory and <laughs> i i appreciate the sentiment i appreciate what it might be going for but no it is also kind of blocking the path for what could have been an expanded fulfillment center, but no, we're not we're not, not going to be using this. I can tell you that right now. That is not going to be happening whatsoever. Not a not a chance. Absolutely not. Are you how many people you got on board? 95. I might need more of these trains. I'm going to be honest. I mean, this one is is pulling in. It made 628,000. It dropped off a decent number, but then immediately filled up. This one 48 on board it made 97,000 and it has also filled up by the looks of it and there's still 267 people waiting yeah we might <laughs> i want more trains not gonna lie uh a rate of 535 950 give me two more i guess we'll go for two more that seems reasonable 1140 people can be moved in that line now Speaking of moving things and train lines, I want to see how much this guy makes dropping off 120 machines into, into high points. Now, keep in mind, that's not enough for either high point or San Francisco, but at the very least, it's going to be the start of us moving machines into both of those cities, which is kind of a big deal. That's, that's a pretty big point of progress right there. So We'll take a look. We'll see how much this thing makes, which is going to be a grand total of 7 million. I don't know. Hmm. I don't know if that's what I was looking for. I feel like <laughs> I was, um, I was looking a little bit more. I'm not going to lie. I, I was definitely, <laughs> I'm not, yeah, I could have, I could have done with a little bit more. <laughs> it's that, I don't know if that's, that's probably not a, yeah. That could have been better. Definitely could have been better. We'll also expand these two uh, cargo things for the time being, just so that we don't have anything getting lost. But I guess, I mean, yeah, High Point is going to get its machines now, so that should keep everybody nice and happy. We have this guy heading back to pick up more machines as well, which, again, should keep everybody nice and happy. There's uh, 141 waiting right now. There's 100, and, I mean, there's plenty more to be made, which is great news. I think the transport stat just needs to be higher. That's kind of where we're at right now. If that levels up, like I said, that'll have a knock-on effect for everything else. We might just need more trains. I don't know. I don't know if we really do. I think what I'll do at the very least is say that 
wait for a full load for a maximum of 10 minutes. I don't know if that's a good idea or a bad idea, but we'll, we'll give it a shot. That might space the trains out a little bit. Also, very quickly, what is the 94? Oh, we're really not moving that much in this. You know what? Give me, mm, give me another one. Give me one more train in that line. 142 now. That's brought the transport up a little bit further. How many of those trains am I going to need? Ooh. I don't know. I don't know now. Hold on a minute. What if I... What if I go and modify the trains? Manage vehicles. Go to you guys. Oh, boy. And what if I said I wanted more boxcars? I don't remember what color the boxcars were. I think it was that color. So if we do that, it's up to 71 now, which is good. I think we could do with a couple more of these, though. We'll go up to like 180 on each of them. Oh, it is actually going to level up now, which is great. We'll go up to 180 anyway, because we want to be moving as much of this as possible. So 180, modify those. Yeah, this, this factory is going to level up now, which should, like I said, have that knock-on effect that we're looking for. That's kind of fantastic. That is, that is kind of perfect. And so as this train pulls in, it is now full. 180 machines heading back to high points. This machines factory has also leveled up now, which I'm hoping is going to mean even more production across the board, which will be lovely. That's definitely what we're hoping for. But what I'm also hoping for is that that might mean that this guy gets a little bit tempted to level up as well. I think this thing actually has leveled up. I don't know. I don't. I don't know if it has actually. It might be. I might, no, it hasn't. That's I'm looking at the wrong one. Yeah, this guy down here. So the shipment here, if we can bring this up and shipment, I believe, is the amount of stuff going out. So that's the amount of steel that we're moving. And our steel movement right now is this guy. It's 308. Which is interestingly. I guess that is that more. No, transport's the amount. Wait, I don't I don't know which one we're looking for now. I've gotten I'm slightly confused. Uh, that's fine. How are you doing? 225 and you're doing 269 you're doing 279 you're doing 264 okay that's i guess that's fair enough let me have a little bit of a look over this way at uh at you oh this guy wants to level up as well that's perfect oh look at you look at you so now we should be able to move a little bit more wood now that the shipments increased. This guy's about to be full, which is great news. I don't know if it means that it produces any faster or if its capacity is just higher, but regardless, I'm absolutely here for it. That's that's absolutely fantastic news. And then again, looking at uh, looking at you, I mean, it's fine. It's we're, we're doing all right. This thing has plenty in storage. Its shipment can be higher eventually. We're just we're, we're making progress is what we're doing. This guy's also sitting around waiting and it is it's filling up pretty quickly. It is it is getting there. So I think High Point's about to get a really nice amount of uh, machines. And as it turns out, it's enough to be worth 10.6 million, which is pretty great. We've managed to split them across the two. We did lose some apparently, but we split them across the two right here, which I'm completely fine with. I'm almost wondering if we do want to look at the Garland one just because we can. So if we have a look at Garland, the demand for machines is 45. So it's really not that much. If we have a look at this road depot, we'll buy some vehicles. We'll get uh, we'll get some of these guys. We'll go for two of them, get them in the lovely sort of golden color. And it's road cargo machines delivery to Garland. If we have a look at you and we want to see. So we want this number to be 45. If I pin this and manage the vehicles, duplicate them. That gives us 27. Give me two more and that gives us 41. Give me one more and that gives me 50, no, 47. That's that's about perfect. So seven vehicles in that line. We have a bunch of vehicles here, a bunch of vehicles there as well. We can start moving machines to all of those towns and I'm kind of excited about that. Now, as another interesting point, this, mach this machines factory is about to level up again because the transport is pretty solid right now. That's unexpected. I wasn't, wasn't, wasn't expecting it to do that. That's also got me a little bit concerned because we're starting to run out of, uh, we're starting to run out of planks. 
Got 132 on this train, which is great. But again, the trains are doing that thing where they're kind of not filling up and I don't understand why. And I might just be being an idiot, but I, for the life of me, can't figure out why these guys don't want to load up in, uh, in Toledo. It's a really, really weird kind of thing going on. Minimum stop time, still two minutes. That's fine, I guess. We'll not stress about it too much. As long as we're moving things, it's it's not the end of the world, I guess. Uh, and these guys, these guys are doing fantastic. We have so many logs coming through as well. So we'll just we'll chill. It'll it'll be fine. We've got plenty of trains coming and going. We've got a bunch of planks coming in here now, which should mean that this thing gets a really good supply right about there, which is great. That's gonna be more machines for uh, for this train here. This thing is. I didn't, I didn't expect it to level up twice. I'm going to be honest. I really, I really didn't, but I'm just really, <laughs> I'm really quite pleased about that. That's great. That's so good. I also don't know what it looks like when it levels up again. It looks like that. Okay, good. It can now produce up to 300. So if we can bring 300 planks and 300 steel in here, this thing will, will produce 300 machines. That's good. That's that's actually kind of great. Uh, this thing's shipment is down a little bit. It's producing up to 400 steel, though, which is great. So that's kind of what we're looking for. Yeah. You know what? We're going to leave it there for today. I feel like we're making pretty solid progress with this entire thing. I do want to investigate my little fulfillment sensor idea. I think it might be a bit of an interesting idea, to say the very least. I definitely think there's there's... There's potential there. And we're already kind of seeing it, right? Like we've got, oh my God, we've got so many machines waiting to go to San Francisco. Let me, um, let me extend this a little bit further because good Lord, I don't want to be losing those. They're kind of expensive to make. And we'll extend this one as well. Maybe we just extend all of them or all of the ones that we're using out to, uh, to this length so that we don't end up losing anything. It'd be a real pain if we sort of ship them across the entire map and then just lose them because we don't have the space for them. I think this is a good proof of concept, though. I think this is sort of a good kind of idea for what my little fulfillment center thing would look like. It's just basically we could have a bunch of trains bringing machines down here. We could bring construction materials down here, which we could do, by the way. Let's keep in mind we do have a uh, we do have slag production coming out of this guy. And we do have a construction materials plant down here, so we could reasonably bring construction materials down to the the fulfillment center as well. I don't know if that's a thing I want to do, but it's a thing that I can do. And it's something I'm definitely tempted to do. So we'll figure that out is, is what we'll do. We'll figure that out. I'll sit on it. I'll think about it and we'll figure it out. Either way, thank you so much for watching everybody. It has been an absolute pleasure as always. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.